Okay, Jeff in Centennial, Colorado. I'm going to show you how I cut lenses for your frames. You have sent me three frames. Sent them to my address at Bull City Optical. Let me grab a razor blade to open the box. And let's just see what you have sent me. You sent me one pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarers, model number 2132. You've also sent me two pair of Oakleys that you would like clear, non-prescription, anti-glare lenses mounted into. I'm going to open the box up and let's see what we got. It's like open it's like Christmas Day. Let's see what we have got. A note from you. By the way, I know that you are a oop, wrap carefully. Look at this. You are well done. Well done. Let me open this up. Now this will be a three-part step, just so it's not an incredibly long video. Here are your tortoise Ray-Ban 2132. 902 and based on the feel these are a few years old Because they are very 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 sturdy and well made first things first I don't like how tight your hinges are forgive me But I'm gonna loosen this because these are so tight it puts torque on the bridge of the frame So I'm gonna loosen this hinge just a little bit just so that Your glasses will last a very long time now. This is your closet door This has nothing to do with how the glasses will fit Some closet doors squeak. There we go. That's a lot better. I'm going to make them uniform. But yeah, the worst thing you can do to a pair of glasses is over tighten this, this hinge screw right there. Now, first things first, everyone's seen me cut Ray-Bans. Let me cut a pair of Oakleys for you. Let me open this up. Just see what we're doing here. Now, anyone can mail me their frames and I will cut prescription lenses for them. Oh, this is a very nice frame. Brand new, as a matter of fact, still with the stickers on there. This is called the Plank. So first things first, I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses. And I'm going to save these aside. I'm going to set this down so I can work on this first one. Let me see how the screw goes in there. And I'm actually going to put on a very strong pair. And this frame is very much like the one that you just sent me, except it's the Tortoise Beige. But I've got a very strong pair of magnifiers. I just want to take a look at the screw that's in there. That is a Phillips head. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to open that up later. But for first things first, I'm going to trace this frame. Let me take my strong magnifiers off. See what I'm doing. Okay. It is tracing the inside bevel of your frame. It's tracing the left lens first. Then it's going to go across and change... Sorry, sorry, if any of this was out of focus, I humbly apologize. I am a professional optician. I am not a professional cinematographer. Hopefully none of this was missed. Other than that, you just heard my voice the whole time and couldn't see anything. So I'm going to pull this shape up. I'm going to match the pupillary distance, which if this were a prescription, I would type this in, but I'm not. This is a non-prescription lens, so I just have it match the frame. This is a polycarbonate lens. I'm going to cut on the soft cycle because of the anti-glare coating. And this is marked for a plastic frame, but this is a metal cut, although they cut very similar. And now, your lenses. I'm going to pot, take two lenses. When you first ordered from me, I was running low on lenses. I went out and bought another 20 pairs, so I wouldn't have that problem again. I'm going to take this out, and you can actually, let me compare this against uh, another lens. And to compare apples to apples, let me make it a Plano, so there's no prescription. But an anti-glare lens is also an anti-reflection. You can see the fluorescent lights above me when I move them, and you don't. You see a green hue, and I'll explain that in a moment. Let me put that up. Anti-glare coating is vaporized onto the lens. Actually, I'll give me something to talk about while these are cutting. I'm going to put a double-sided sticker onto the block that holds it in place while it is cutting. For the right and left, I peel the sticker off onto the center of the lens it goes, peel this sticker off, and onto the center of the lens. Now, your anti-glare coating is also a hydrophobic coating, meaning it hates water. So that's why I'm cutting it on what's known as the soft cycle, so that it turns a little bit slower. The whole process normally takes 10 to 12 minutes with an anti-glare coating, more like 12 to 15, but hopefully you won't get bored with every step of the way. So it's going to come and trace the shape of your lens, shape of your frame, onto the lens to make sure it's large enough to cut out. 
and there are three cutting wheels down below. This one on the left, the rough one, is the heavy grit sandpaper that will remove most of the lens. The one in the center with the little channel, the little valley in there, will actually put the bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. It will get loud as it cuts, and so I'm going to close the door and so I can continue talking. As the as it takes closer shape, I will open it back up and we can look at it again. Right now it's just round. Once your shape becomes apparent, I will bring it back into focus. So that is that. The first one is cutting. Now back to your lenses. The anti-glare lens, it's a million dollar machine that puts the anti-glare onto a lens. It actually is applied in six or seven layers what you see now, the reason why an apple is red is it reflects all colors back. It absorbs all colors except red, and that's what you see. When you see the green on this from the fluorescence, there are many colors vaporized onto that lens except for green. That is why you see the green reflected back. Clean up my mess here. Put that back in the box for now. Now the lenses you are receiving are an aspheric polycarb lens. Aspheric meaning that your original lenses, if you see, has a certain curvature to them. This is actually much flatter, so it's a better cosmetic appearance. Spherical just means round. Aspheric means it starts off round but flattens at the edges. It's just a higher quality lens that you will always get from me. Most places have an upcharge or a surcharge. This is where I start. In fact, they are unbreakable, bulletproof up to 22 caliber, and have both UVA and UVB protection. So you will have no problems wearing these. This is like permanent sunscreen for your eyes when you're outside, as well as when you're in front of a computer screen. It is now 824 according to my Samsung Gear watch, 26 degrees at 8.29 on Wednesday, January 22nd in the Bull City of Durham, North Carolina. You are in send, uh, what, what was your address? What was your address? We have it here somewhere. Hang on, hang on. Where's the box? There's the box. Is it Centennial, Colorado? It is Centennial, Colorado. Looks like your Denver Broncos are heading to the Super Bowl. Hats off to a big win. Okay, so the lens has taken shape and now it's putting the bevel onto the lens so that it will stay in the frame. Yeah, we had one inch of snow here last night, which was terribly frightening, I gotta tell you. Up north, they got about a foot. You guys wake up to a foot every day, I imagine, in Colorado. This is nothing, but we're just not used to it here. And the reason why it's scary here and not anywhere else, you guys get snow. But with the heat, our daytime heat, it warms the asphalt, it warms the roads, it warms everything up to where it is above the freezing. Your ground stays frozen. The snow hits the ground and stays or stays the powdery snow. When snow falls on us, it turns into ice, which makes driving difficult. You make fun of drivers in the south, but all the road cars I saw in ditches this morning had New England license plates on them. They had a false sense of security. They're used to driving in the snow. They are not used to the ice. It always amazes me how many northerners wreck their cars when they come down south. Um, so the lens is finished. It is the shape of your frame. The last thing I'm going to do is put a safety bevel. This is just a hand stone and it works on friction. I can put my hand on there, but I just take off any rough edges. They're at the edge of the lens after cutting and I take my thumbnail to remove the schwarf. Normally I would say, may the schwarf be with you. Uh oh, just got a text message from my future scholarship student. Every year I set up a scholarship to send someone through opticianry school and that is next year's recipient texting me, probably asking where's her money for tuition and books. As you see, I have removed your schwarf and is on the counter, which I don't like, so let's wipe it on the floor. You see me do that in all my videos. I do it just to irk my wife. When you've been married as long as I have, you gotta keep things fun. That's for you, honey. So I'm gonna put my slotted Phillips head screwdriver into your frame where the screw, the eye wire screw is. I'm going to pop that in, snap that into place, and then I will tighten the screw back. I could remove it entirely, but I would if I used a plastic lens, but being polycarb, it is unbreakable. It will not hurt going in there. So now that is in there good. I'm going to flip it over to the left lens. 
and then I'm gonna hit start and we're gonna repeat the process just like before it is gonna trace the lens to make sure it's large enough to cut which we know it will this part you've seen before so I'm going to move on I'm gonna go ahead and inspect the next frame that I will be cutting now we'll break it up so you don't have to watch one 30 to 40 minute video you'll have two or three 15 minute ones now I can if you want to mail me your frames I can put any prescription lens into just about any frame and of course with me at Bolts of the Optical you view by the frame you get free single vision prescription lenses this frame is steel blue but what is the model number this is the Oakley wire the eye size if you can see is 50 19 I believe is too close for me to see let me hold it away it is 50 19 good rubber nose pads Oakley are quality frames good quality spring hinges good rubber tips easy to adjust this is a good frame I will cut this in the next video if I have time tonight I am in a medical building where it closes at 9 worst case scenario I will cut it tomorrow now I will inspect the lenses on the Ray-Ban you had mentioned they just felt loose that they are I can do a better job of cutting lenses for that because when I trace it will cut the actual size of the frame now that I have it here and there is a little bit of inconsistency in manufacturing these are a few years old and there may be just a little bit of play and also if someone had prescription lenses in them originally it could have stretched the frame while it was cutting so when my machine traces it will trace the correct size of your frame and not the template frame which is one of mine that I probably used I've got the black rubber the blue rubber which I wear in 80% of my videos I just got the blue crystal yesterday it is color code 6053 it's blue with crystal as opposed to blue with orange hey Jeff out there near Denver you need a pair of blue orange ones you don't need an additional set of lenses the lenses in fact if I take them out of this frame your frame they will snap into mine very easily they're all interchangeable now that is a great fit I just don't know when yours was made and I think there's just a little bit of inconsistency in manufacturing but I will hang on to those put that frame back of course we got the black beige the tortoise beige the color 6012 this I believe that's not 945 that's the honey crystal this is color 875 and then one of my favorites in the summertime is the 770 white with black and it is a great summertime look when you're whited out from your Air Force Ones to your white Nike hat. So let's clean up my mess. Drop that back down there and wait for your left lens to cut. I am going to de-block your lens. So I pulled the little sticker off, trash the sticker. And we will wait for that to cut. I will get your original lenses will be included back to you. So years from now, if you ever want to sell this frame, you will have the original lenses that came with it. Now we're almost done. It is putting the safety bevel on. It's giving itself its own little bath. Of course, anyone who orders a pair of prescription glasses gets a video watching their glasses being made. Please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You have to chop it up to put it on Instagram, but please help increase my footprint on the internet. Everyone else sells glasses. I sell technology. The technology just happens to be glasses. But here at Bull City Optical, everybody loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. So that's all I ship out all over the world. I just shipped two pair of glasses to Germany last week. One in the 55, you have the 52 eye size. I did the 55 tortoise and the 902 and the 901, which is the classic shiny black. I have to ship two pair of lenses tomorrow to Brazil, a polarized lens and a transition lens for the same pair of glasses. They will pop them in and out. Actually, that was the right screwdriver. Let me undo this with my Phillips head and not the flat head. I will put your lens into the frame. Actually, I see a little bit of schwarf on the edge of this lens. Let me clean that up for you. And let me go ahead and open this up all the way. So 
so it actually comes apart more. And then I will insert the lens into your frame. And please tell me this is pulled back down where you can see. I've really got to get a monitor so I can see what you guys are watching. Tighten the screw up. And I'm going to put it against my moleskin so nothing on your frame touches the hard counter. As I tighten the screw, that looks great. And I just need to deblock it. Dry everything off using my cloth and I will wrap this back up and get it shipped back to you tomorrow if not tonight so the first pair is done let me grab a piece of tape put that back on there and get ready for the next one so this is the end of this video please stay tuned for videos two and three as I cut for your Ray-Ban 2132 and your other pair of Oakley's thanks for playing along and hopefully you can see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.